Welcome. Hi, my name is Maher. Today we're going to do alignment job. Thank you. Hi, my name is Tyler. I'm currently with JTEC and we're going to do an alignment job. Hi, I'm Bruce Barclay with JTEC and I'm get, we're getting ready to do an alignment job on a 2010 Chevrolet Aveo. Okay, the first thing we're going to do. One, 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 two, three. There we go. The next thing we're doing is coming to our computer here and we're going to start up our, our alignment. It's being a little alignment here. We're going to be working on a Chevrolet. 2010 Aveo. This is giving us what our ideal measurements are. Okay, and now it's telling us that it wants to wants us to put the sensors on the vehicle. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to put the sensors on the vehicle, and then we're going to click this little check mark right here. So we'll go ahead and put the sensors on the vehicle. Let's do that. Pull the chalks out. I'll leave the chalks in it. Yeah, leave the chalks in it. Tell it tells us to roll it. That's right. We'll go around the vehicle. Make sure we got all of our. Sensors in place. How we doing, Tyler? Doing good. This one was a little crooked, so I had to straighten it up. It's tight, tight as can be. Okay, now we're going to do our next step. We'll come back to you in just a second. Here we go. We're uh, we're back at the front of the vehicle now. We've got all of our sensors installed, and it's telling us that it wants us to roll the vehicle forward. So we need to pull the chocks. Pull the chalk and the mayor's going to pull the vehicle forward and back. Going forward this time. Oh, it's telling me I'm in the way. Now it wants us to push the vehicle backwards. Now it's saying it wants us to pull the vehicle forwards again. Okay, now it's, it's telling us that it's, it's completed this step. It's basically what this machine has done is it's set calibration. It's calibrated everything. It's, it's called compensation step. Okay, now we got to click next. Okay, now it's telling us to install a brake pedal to pressure and ensure that the turntable pins have been removed. So let's do that.
Go ahead and pull the pins. Not yet. Put it in the seat. Put it in the seat. Don't hold it on the wheel yet. Wait till it tells you to do it. Okay, come on down. Come on down. Okay, go ahead and click that green arrow. Oh, go back up. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's telling us for a caster swing now. We're getting ready to do a caster swing right now. Got Mayer going up inside the car. Well, she'll, he'll remain there for the rest of this, or for much of it. Until we finish the caster swing, go ahead and swing it. Computer swinging. Keep going. Hold it there. Now it's saying it wants us to swing right. Let's go ahead and swing right. Look at them tires swing to the right. The whole car is swinging. Look at that. Okay, so we did that right. We center the wheel. Now come back, hold it. You have to close that door. Now you want to put in your steering wheel lock? So you want to center your wheel up real good and make sure and then center the, put the lock in it. Okay, come on down, shut the door. Go ahead and click that little green arrow, Tyler. And here's all of our measurements. There's live measurements. Now in this vehicle, we cannot adjust this. Is it, we can't adjust the rear toe. Our thrust angle is good, though. We're good on our camber on it and and um, camber and our uh, toe on this side, but this one's out just a little bit. But we just can't adjust it. There's no there's no way to feasibly do it. We need to adjust this, which our toe on this side and our camber on this side, and then this here. But we don't have any way to adjust camber. On this vehicle either, so we can't adjust that. The only things we can adjust on this vehicle are the tow. Yeah. So we're going to do that now. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise the vehicle a little higher, make it more comfortable for Tyler to work on.
Tell me where you want it, Tyler. Okay, we'll drop it down until it locks. All right, now what we do is we raise the camera. To do that, hit Control, All, in the up arrow. Up goes the camera. Watch the scope, and it'll show you when you're in line. A little higher. That's good. You want to center these up. That's good. Okay, and there's our numbers again. So now we need to do is go up underneath there and making our adjustments. You want to adjust this side first. Right. Go ahead and adjust. adjust this side first. Yes. This is where we need a light. Don't fit. You need a small one. Turn turn the bar, not the nut. Good call. Get behind him. Get behind him. You want to turn that bar, not the nut. It's a little wrench on the little bar. Got it? Yep. Are you turning it? There you go. Going the right way. Okay, you're in, but go a little further. Okay. Now turn the nut down onto the onto the rod, and then lock it in with the other wrench, the big wrench. Locked in. Looks like you are. Okay, and our settings didn't change. However, we're good over here now. So we got a minor adjustment to make on the left side. Go ahead and let him make an adjustment. Hold the light for him. A little further back. There you go, right there. Going the wrong way. You need to swing it down towards towards me. There you go. Okay, lock it down. Pull it good? Yep. Okay, sometimes when you tighten your, uh, sometimes when you tighten those tie rod ends, it changes a little bit, but we're still in the green, so we're still good to go. Okay, so we've done we've done as much of a lining on this thing as we can. Uh, what we need to do now is we need to take everything off the car, and we are finished with it. So we're done with this. Thank you very much for watching our video. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll see you next time.
at JTEC.